Oh, hi there! You know, I wasn't expecting to start a vlog today, but I was doing some spring... Well, okay, let's be honest. Rodrigo was doing some spring cleaning. Here are the cats. <laughs> you know, they have to be in every video. Hi, Benny. We were doing some spring cleaning, and we found some books that... We were like, you know what, we're just gonna donate these books. But then I started looking through them, and I was like... I kind of want to keep some of these. So, it's not a very big pile. Let me show... Oh, these are just clothes that I have to put back in my closet. But anyway, here's the pile. And I didn't want to make, like, a whole dedicated video to it. I'm also... You know, it's Thursday, but we have Friday off this week. So, this might turn into a weekend vlog. We'll see. Because I just kind of want to... You know, I just wanted to be a little bit spontaneous. I wanted to just start vlogging because I felt like it and I was doing it on my Instagram. But then I was like, why don't I just do it for my YouTube channel? So what you're going to see me do right now is go through those books. And then after that, I'm going to lay in bed and I'm going to read the sign of four. Not, not, not the sign of four. I'm going to read a, what is it? A story in Scarlet, a secret in Scarlet. Let me get it. <laughs> Ooh, a study in Scarlet. So yeah, after I go through these books, I'm gonna just lay in bed and read a study in Scarlet by Arthur Conan Doyle because I realized that Rodrigo picked for me to read The Sign of Four by Arthur Conan Doyle for May, but I hadn't read this one, which is actually the first one, and then The Sign of Four is the second one. So. I have this one and I'm gonna read it. And also, I am finishing my 20 book challenge because on May 28th, I read my 15th book. And I was like, you know, I have a bunch of shorter books that I could read. What if I can make it to 20 books? And I made that a challenge for myself and this is book number 19, which I'm definitely gonna finish today. And I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish book number 20. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna read Binti home or if I'm actually gonna read the sign of four because then that frees up my TBR for next month a little bit Because next month. I'm not reading 20 books <laughs> In fact, I still can't believe that I'm reading 20 books But that does mean that I get to buy four books according to my TBR takedown challenge. So That's that's cool There's sushi. Isn't she adorable? Anyway, oh also I am announcing on here that I am going to film a video for June. My June TBR is going to be based on my cats and their personalities. So I'm going to pick five books based on Sushi's personalities and five books based on Penny's personalities. So I'm trying to like figure it out. But anyway, for now I'm just going to go through these books and I'm going to show you what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to uh, put in the donate pile. So let's get to it. like a, a clean of these books and I had decided to keep these but they were in a different place in the house because at that time like I didn't have space for them so the only one that I'm kind of like on the fence about is this one which is by Rafael Avalos which is Cot, which says an email that invites to an infinite game man in the middle ages that never existed a crime that announces an frightful future three stories that are apparently not connected but actually connected by a horrible secret that only two teenagers might be able to solve and always the same word caught i was translating that straight from spanish because it's in spanish all of these books are in spanish i was with this until the teenagers thing because honestly i don't like reading books about teenagers but this sounds interesting so I'm on the fence about this one. So we're gonna put it down here. The, the two that I'm, the two that I'm definitely getting rid of is La Venganza del Asesino Par. But oh, this is by Reyes Calderon though. Fuck, I didn't realize Reyes Calderon is like a really good author. I don't know. Oh, that actually. 
actually makes me want to keep it. Okay, so actually the only one that I'm getting rid of is this one. This is La Venganza del Asesino Par. This is like the richest man in Argentina is killed seemingly because his helicopter goes down during a snowstorm. And the, the strange thing about this is that all the evidence suggests that it was a murder, but that the person that is sending the evidence is somebody named Ernest Wilson, who is in a prison that is currently isolated by snow itself. You know what? That sounds cool. That sounds cool. It sounds like a cool thriller. Um, I try, I know this is a little kind of, I think sad, but I try not to read a lot of Spanish books that I don't think are translated in English in my channel because I don't feel like you guys want to watch that because they're not translated to English. So why would you want to watch about a book that I love and that you can't read? So um, that's why I, I tend to steer away from books that aren't translated. But um, uh, these books actually were gifted to me uh, my 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 stepdad works in construction and these guy these people inherited a house from their grandfather who passed away he was an avid reader and they were going to throw away all his books so my stepdad brought them all to me and i picked these and then i donated the rest and apparently now <laughs> i'm going through them again this is the profane Ab abby and it's a this is a movie about it's a movie about Nazis and the Holy Grail. And I just watched for the first time ever Indiana Jones. And I kind of want to read this. And it's also a shorter book, so this sounds interesting. I, I'm keeping this because it sounds good. And then we have by Tim McCart Gala Muse or Demon. This is about Dali's what is it called? Muse? Yeah, Dali's Muse. Uh, her name was Gala and it says, was she a perverse muse, unfaithful lover, a evil angel, or was she just a woman? And it's Gala in the nude, the woman that was at the center, along with Dali, of one of the most intriguing and artistic love stories of our century. So that actually sounds really good. And I don't know how much of this is going to be actual non-fiction, but there's pictures and, um, yeah, I'm actually really excited for this. Then we have another thriller, Spanish people love thrillers, so, um, El Ultimo Paciente del Dr. Wilson by Reyes Calderón, see? That's the same author as the other books. And then the book that sparked all of this is this one, um, El Mariscal de las Nieblas. Ooh, the, oh, the Marshal of... Oh, tinieblas. How do you pronounce? How do you say that in English? Mariscal de las la tinieblas. The and, and I don't even have my phone around. But basically, this is the real story of Bluebeard. So this is the story of Jules de Ré, which is basically a man who became very famous in the first half of the 15th century in France. I believe he was probably a crusader. This is historical. This is not historical fiction this is actually a historical book so this is the book that inspired this because I, I saw it and i was like why am i throwing that out i love this kind of stuff so so i've got an hour and a half left i'm gonna read the i'm gonna read this and uh, i'll let you know how it goes and i'll probably let you know much later because i'm gonna read it up until i have to teach my class which is at two and then i have class from two to no I'm um, sorry, um, I have class at 1 and then from uh, to 2.30 and then from 2.30 to 3.30 and then I have 3.30 to 5 off and then I have to teach 3 classes from 3, from 5, sorry, from 5 to 8 and then I'm off for the weekend and I think I might continue this vlog till the weekend depends on if I do any reading or not because trust me, this whole 20 book business thing it's a lot. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a bit. And I'm back. One of my classes actually got canceled. And as much as that usually like fills me with joy because I get paid for it anyway, if they cancel without 24 hour notice, it was an in-company class. And I swear to you, if they didn't pay better, like because they, it's not that they pay better, they pay more. 
I would never take in company classes again. By the way, I think this is tilted to the side. It was. <laughs> it was a bureaucratic disaster. I'm sorry. Like, I always feel like my room looks ridiculous, but that's my laundry. So yeah, you, you can see my laundry and the camera whore. She just loves being on camera. But anyway, um, yeah, it gave me a headache. It's a bureaucratic nightmare. We had to write emails and send a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't even want to think about it. But what I did do was finish a study in Scarlet. And um, I'll let you know in my wrap up how this went. But yeah, I'm done with it. So book number 19 is down and i also have time to think about the books that i'm keeping from this pile and here's the thing this one and this one while they sound interesting i think count as weapons because they are so freaking big and it's they're not that long this one is 646 pages and this one i don't i didn't even show you this one is 646 pages and this one is and this one is 598 pages. Now, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of big books. And while these stories seem interesting, I have other books that I clearly want to get to before these because these were forgotten in like and not even they were they weren't they weren't even worn like worthy of my bookshelves, <laughs> you know. So I think I'm gonna let go of these two. They're too big. Um, realistically, I would rather not start a 600 page book that I know so little about. So let's take a look again at the ones that I'm keeping to make sure that I am definitely keeping this one. Again, this is the one that inspired this. Uh, I'm definitely keeping the one about Gala. Um, I have a feeling this one, however, is going to be a little bit infuriating because I have a feeling, when was this book published? But anyway, I think it's going to be sexist as fuck. Yeah, 1989. It's going to be sexist as fuck, but it's nonfiction, so, you know. And I, and I, and I want to know more about Gala and Dolly. I really want to read this, uh, Nazi Holy Grail book. And then we have The Two by Reyes Calderon. This one sounds... I just hit myself in the face. This one sounds so cool. And then there's the sequel. Let's see how, how long they are. That's going to determine a lot. Okay, so this one is not 500 pages. This one is 480. Okay, I can do 480. Oh my God. What is it, baby? <laughs> you know she only loves me. Like, I am the only human that she actively loves. And she still bites me and stuff, but... Everybody knows that... She, look. <laughs> that was a, a love bite. But anyway, and how big long is this one? This one is 447. Yeah, I'm keeping these two. So I'm keeping this two. So in the end, I'm keeping... These two, and then also these three, and I'm letting go of this pile. That's a good thumbnail, isn't it? <laughs> so that's some spring cleaning done. I hope those books find somebody that really appreciates them. And I have a class in about in about. <laughs> this cat not like how adorable is she i have a class in like 15 minutes so i'm gonna put some makeup on and pretend that i'm not just sleepy i'm so tired this week has been so <laughs> difficult and it's not even because of the reading or the challenge of reading the 15 books the 20 books it's because um this I had too many students <laughs> so but yeah, after this class, I get an hour and a half off and I'm going to try to get through most of the sign of four. I've made the decision to get through most of the sign of four just so that I can free up some of my reading time for next month. Because I'm definitely reading less next month because I want to. Uh, so I'm reading the sign of four and I should finish it tonight. So 
I will update you about that later. Now, my sweetie and I are gonna chill. Well, she's gonna chill while I uh, make my face look less like I just got out of bed and have a headache. Also, can we appreciate? I always get pimples in this area when I'm about to get my period. So, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome for that info. Um, we're all adults here, right? <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, look at her. She's looking a little bit less like she just got up <laughs> from bed. Uh, I did put a little bit of makeup on, not too much because I only have one class, but I wanted to show you this outfit of the day. I have this super long, super comfy, super light um, shirt. And yeah, you can kind of see my bra through it. It's okay. You can only see up through here through my Skype conference. And um, I have that and I have these amazing high-waisted jeans. Uh, this was This is thrifted from like years ago. These are mango jeans. Um, and my not going out shoes. This is going to get so much more interesting if I do these when I start going out again. Because <laughs> right now, yeah, there's not much to it. And glasses. Again, I tend to film with my glasses on when I do uh, more casual videos. But if I do sit down videos, you never see my glasses. But I am a little bit blind without them, not too much. So yeah, that's my outfit for today. Don't even at my headphones, okay? These are my husband's gaming headphones. But basically, I have one more hour to teach. I'm two minutes late to class, but I just wanna say, why did I, why did I turn this on? What did I wanna say? Oh, <laughs> I have so many YouTube videos that I wanna watch, but I have to finish that 20th book. So like, Oh, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm really enjoying the book. I'm reading uh, The Sign of Four, as you saw before. And I'm really enjoying it because I'm really enjoying Sherlock Holmes books. But the thing is, I really want to watch some YouTube. Uh, uh. Also, uh, I think I already know the books that I want to buy next month. Like, I have them so clear in my head. They're actually already in my cart. Don't eat, like, not in my cart. They're like there. They're they're ready for me. So, um, one of them is terrifying for me, but I really want it. I don't want to tell you what it is though, <laughs> because then if I buy other shit, you're gonna be like, didn't you say you were gonna buy that book? So yeah, um, I'm late for my class. I'll catch up with you in an hour or so or maybe after I finish the sign of four which I should be finished with pretty soon I'm listening to it at 1.5 because it's actually really nice to like slow it down but then I feel like oh it's gonna take me like two hours to finish it where I could just listen it to 3x and still understand it but it's actually really nice to listen it to it a little bit slower also my headache went away <laughs> and where's that from? My, oh, I'll insert a clip if I can find it where that's from. That's from one, like one of my guilty pleasure favorite movies, Party Monster. You haven't seen it and you want to see a movie where Macaulay Culkin plays a really crazy man that murders another man and it's actually a true story. This is the movie for you. I'm gonna go to class now. <laughs> I just want to say, oh shit, I just want to say I love Whitney so much and Whitney is literally my inspiration for booktube, like for getting back into booktube and for everything. I just love her. I think she's amazing. I think she's so real and I just love her as a person, you know, in like the le least creepy way possible and was i watching this while my students were taking a test yes that's why going back to work and like them being able to see me and what i'm doing doesn't sound like such a good idea <laughs> this is why skype classes is where it's at man if my student is testing why can't i watch a youtube video they're not gonna copy off each other each of them is in their own house I'm a horrible teacher. Bye! <laughs>
So, I don't know if you can tell, I'm out in my terrace, my patio. I don't know what we call it, terrace here in Spain. Um, and it's just like a really nice day out. And I thought, why not finish this book out here? But I just want to. I just want to come on here for a moment and say this book starts off with basically Sherlock Holmes injecting and snorting substances. <laughs> I'm not sure I can even name on YouTube. <laughs> Why? Because he's bored. Let me tell you something. The Victorian and Edwardian times were wild times. <laughs> Just straight up, what are you doing, Sherlock? <laughs> Watson's like, what are you doing? And he's like, just shooting up some heroin, snorting some cocaine because I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> read a book, Sherlock. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to read out here for a while and enjoy this fabulous. It's like the perfect amount of chili that you need like a light <laughs> that that's from a movie but anyway it's just really nice and chilly but not cold and not hot and it's just breezy enough it's like the perfect spring day so i'm gonna enjoy it and of course because i now live in spain it's 8 p.m but it still looks like this how lucky am i i'll update you either when i'm done or tomorrow Hi there. <laughs> um, first of all, as you saw, I did manage to finish 20 books last night. Not last night, like I didn't read them all in one night. That's not a thing. But I did manage to finish the 20th book, but I'll be honest with you, I had a really, really bad night. I won't get into it. I was having a lot of anxiety, and um, your girl forgot to take her night pills, so... Anyway, it was a bad night, so I didn't update. But I did finish the sign of four. I really loved it, to the point that... I bought the rest of the Penguin English Library classics of Sherlock Holmes, which brings me to a little bit of a thing. Remember my TBR takedown project? I will try to remember to link it everywhere. Um, I never remember to do that stuff. It's not that I don't remember, guys. It's just that I'm so exhausted. Like, oof, this is going to turn into like a more intense clip than I intended it, but... Um, because of the coronavirus situation, I had to take a really steep pay cut. Um, in order to keep the academy that I work with afloat, um, I basically had to accept getting paid 30% less than my normal wages. And I get it, and I know that my boss is, trust my boss is like the owner of the academy, is doing this to keep the academy afloat while we face this situation and it's not easy on her like I'm not I don't know but it did hit me in like the like I don't know how to explain it but morally it's it's really hard to know that you're giving 110 percent and getting 30 percent less and that it's nobody's fault and that you have nobody to be angry at because if my boss was just being a bitch you know and being like hey i i, I want a, a a larger margin of um earnings and i'm gonna take 30 percent of your paycheck i'd be really pissed off but she's not in fact i know because my boss is also somebody i consider a friend that she's taking losses in order for teachers of other languages like Chinese and Japanese and German and French that don't have as many classes to not be left without anything. So I know that as an English teacher and somebody that has a high volume of classes, I actually make so much more than the majority of my colleagues that teach other languages 
or like mathematics teachers. We also have mathematics teachers. We're basically an academy um, that has like a little bit of everything. Um, and you know, um, so I literally have nobody to be angry at. And, but I am angry. I am upset and uh, I, I actually, the whole quarantine thing, I think I've been dealing it with it pretty well just because I have so much work to do that honestly, I would be indoors anyway teaching. Like uh, on Wednesday, I taught from nine to nine with a one hour break. So um, my TBR takedown project was supposed to be not only for me to lower the anxiety around how many books I haven't read which are over there, that's why I'm looking over there but it was also supposed to be to save money and what happened was this month I was like well technically the TBR takedown doesn't start until I finish this, like, this month of reading so I can get as many books as I want before the 1st of May this is how I justified it to myself. This is not, this, this was me justifying buying things to self-soothe. That's the thing. I kept thinking, I'm working so hard, I deserve this. I'm working so hard, I deserve this. Which is not, we're not going to get into how stupid that is. But I realized that I spent a bunch of money on books way more money than I even allocate to myself on a regular basis. I'm gonna give myself a pass here. Um, I'm not saying that I don't... We'll get into the repercussions of this in a bit, but um, last night I really was hard on myself and I started crying and I was apologizing to my husband who was like, you have nothing to apologize for. We had the money. You spent it on the one hobby that you have. I'm not going to be angry at you for spending your money because yes, it's our money, but he was telling like it's our money, like this is yours as much as mine. So anyway, um, it's been a tough month. Uh, again, I'm working more hours, which is another thing that I wanted to say. Thanks to this pay cut, we were able to retain students that have lost their jobs, that uh, students that are working less, the students that wouldn't be interested in Skype classes otherwise because many people prefer face-to-face. -face. So I'm working like double the hours but making less money than when I was working half the hours or, you know. Um, and it's been a struggle train. So anyway, so I bought a bunch of books. I'm not proud of it because I shouldn't have. I have more than enough books and I was using shopping as a way of escaping the reality that is that I am upset at the situation that we're going through in the world and that I am upset I'm like gonna cry oh my god I'm so sorry but I, I, I just want to get it out there I guess I'm upset that I'm making less money working more hours I'm upset that um that I have no privacy in my house, even though I love my parents, it's really it's been really hard for us to navigate all of us living together. And if you see something rumbling, my cat is scratching her ear. Um, I've been really upset, and I've been using book buying as an escape. And I'm gonna give myself an okay for this month. We're done. It's over. Now, I have to face the consequences. That is that we have less money in the bank. And, in a brighter note, um, I decided, because before what I was doing was for the TBR, TBR takedown, I wasn't counting books that I had already read as part of that. So I could buy, for example, I read 20 books this month. Imagine that they were all ebooks and I love them all. Well, I could buy them outside of the four books that I'm allocated. And I was going to buy some Dune special edition books. But I decided that as my own little consequence to myself that from now on I'm going to include those books, the um, 
um, the ones that I have already read within the four books that I'm allocated and I decided not to buy the special editions of Dune this month. It's okay. They'll be there next month. It's gonna be fine. So and I think it's good for me. And it actually got me excited about the project again because I would think I was kind of cheating on it a little bit. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm sorry this clip turned out to be much more intense than I intended to. What I wanted to make this clip really was of me showing you what my process, my mind, like I'm, I'm putting it on my computer, what like I'm thinking about buying. I'm still not sure if this is what I'm gonna buy. Um, so I was, wanting to take you with, along with me through this process of rewarding myself for reading 20 books and also giving myself a little pat on the hand, you know, for having spent so much money on books on the past because again, I was gonna buy um, two special edition Dune books and they're beautiful, they're perfect, but they'll be there for me when the time comes. Hello, it's me again. And um, interesting news, I've been watching YouTube for hours. We're talking like five, six hours of just watching YouTube, but that's okay because that was my plan for today. And right now, I know I said I wasn't gonna read, but I kind of feel like reading, and this is calling to me. And I feel like I can finish this book in one sitting because it's pretty short. It's 258 pages, but like, but see, some pages are just like this. And then the font is really big and, you know, chapters and like this. It's, so I think that this might be a good read. Also, I have a muscle contracture, so that hurts a lot. And then I also have Star Sight. Now, technically, I'm supposed to start reading this because I'm buddy reading it tomorrow. But I had already started reading this a while ago. And I got to page 40. And I want to get to page 50 because it's better to start from page 50 than from page 40. Is that cheating? No, because you can't cheat at reading. Just like you can't win at reading or fail at reading, like we've been through this. But anyway, I just wanted to update you a little bit and yeah, I took a shower so my hair is still a little bit wet. It takes my hair hours upon hours upon hours to dry because it's so thick. She be thick, she thick, she th she's a thick girl. So, well, that's all I have to say. We'll see if I get any reading done or not. Well, hello there. Aren't I looking super cute today? Rodrigo's washing his hands, so if you hear anything weird, that's what he's doing. Because I told him I was going to film, and he decided this was the perfect time to wash his hands. But it doesn't matter, because, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm joking, he can wash his hands. Uh, so, I look cute today, don't I? But let's just recap. Let's take a moment to recap what happened last night. So I had to take a muscle relaxant for my back and neck, which makes me sound ancient. I'm really not that old, but I was having issues, okay? And uh, let's just say there was a journey taken where I was talking about um, how rabbits must feel because they can't vocalize. Uh, yeah, that was a thing. I, I have very <laughs> strange reactions to medications, uh, but don't worry, it wasn't a bad reaction. And actually, let's just say, if I ever go to a concert, <laughs> no, don't abuse your medication. I'm just joking. Anyway, so I took that, and then um, reading was just not gonna get done because I couldn't even, like, I said my cat was shining. Um, and it was sparkling, so I wasn't gonna be able to read. However, I did manage to get 50 pages into this before I uh, took a, a journey of my own. And let's just say, I already know this is gonna be five stars. This is gonna be five stars. This is, I can't. What is this book about? I, I keep talking about this book and I don't tell you guys what it's about. And it's so far, because the thing is, I bought this book because I read the first page and I'm going to read the first page to you. Oh my god, aren't I such a good booktuber? I have a lot of chaotic energy today, so... <laughs> Alright, so... And if you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. Who said that? Up here there are abysses of all kinds. Up here. 
5,000 feet of altitude, raging chasms on every side, mountain torrents gushing icy waters through throats of rock, a white noise of oblivion, outrageously uncomfortable trees, witness to everything but mute. The air is thin, dry. Wait, did you see that comma? No, listen, did you see that comma? It's there for a reason. I didn't write, the air is thin and dry. I didn't write, the air is thin and dry. I wrote, the air is thin, dry. The coma is important. It's the single snatched breath, a moment of hanging in which you can hear my failing attempts to fight the right way to explain all of this. I mean, that was mic drop for me. Like, I can't even. So basically, this is the story of a man who goes up into a cabin in the woods. That just started off right off the bat as something you shouldn't do. We all know we don't go to cabin in the woods. But anyway, he's a writer and he's trying to write this book and he's going through some shit. Like, <laughs> he's going through some stuff. And the way he writes it, it's it's incredible. It's like a stream of consciousness. It's like a stream of consciousness. I can speak. I haven't taken a muscle relaxant this morning. I really haven't. So, uh, yeah. It's it's so far so good. Um, I feel that because of the cover, and there is a, like mentions of triangles and like the middle, like the. the there's a word for that that I don't know. Uh, the middle of a triangle and um, how he feels about writing, how he feels about his editor. Apparently his last book didn't do so well and he compares writing books to being infected by a virus because you just have to go through it and just there's nothing you can do about it. So it's amazing. It's weird. Fucking weird. I love it. Next up got Brandon Sanderson's Star Sight and I read the 10 more pages I wanted to read of this because today I started read long and I didn't want to start on page 40 I wanted to start it on page 50 so now I'm at page 50 actually I'm at page not 50 exactly I'm at page 54 so basically I'm cheating um can I be honest about this I didn't like the beginning of this book and I have thoughts about this book I was fine with this book until there's like something thrown in there which takes it to like a whole another level. I'm not, I don't want to throw the word X-Men or the Force out there but yeah I like the book before all that came into play but maybe this book will convince me that it's okay. Um, I'm trying not to spoil the first one, but basically shit happens that I was like, but I really was just enjoying the other aspects. Also, I don't like space fights and this book just straight up starts with space fights. I have really bad spatial awareness and I just don't get it. Like when they're like, and then the, the ship zoomed by and at the last moment I did a double roll and took it to the side and then th and then left, right, and up, down. And in space you don't even have left, right, up, and down. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So yeah. Mm. But I'm reading this today because readathon. And also I feel like this is a one sitting book. But if I hadn't had to take my med, and again, I wasn't abusing medication. I feel like I have to repeat that because don't do that. But um, if I hadn't had to take something from my back, I would have kept reading this and I would have finished it because this is just a one sitting book to me. And if this isn't like my favorite of the month, I... I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm like calling it. In fact, this is gonna be the thumbnail, look. I love when I take thumbnails because in my head, what's going on in my head is I'm saying Vogue, 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 Vogue. Uh, again, a lot of chaotic energy today. It's so obvious that I'm feeling better from my back and my neck and like, just everything. <laughs> I really needed a day off. Uh, so I'm gonna have breakfast with my husband now and then he's going to be outcast into the bedroom. 
because I have to film a wrap up, which by the way, I'm still not sure how I'm going to do that if I'm going to do it in one or two videos because I read 20 books this past month and last month my wrap up was 30 minutes long and I read 15 videos and I'm trying to like just not make an hour videos. <laughs> like I know I really enjoy them but I, I, I just feel like it's a lot so I might break it up into two. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll figure it out as we go. First thought, best thought. Mm, gonna have breakfast now. Bye. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I also started Withering Heights because I figured out the most amazing way to fall asleep at night and that's to put an audiobook and to put like the sleep mode and then just listen to it. Apparently last night I forgot to stop, like I forgot to put the sleep mode and I basically read half the book except I can only remember to chapter 5. So I have to like not go back. But yeah, just an update of what I'm reading this week. I'm reading Withering Heights. I'm reading the Monsters We Deserve, and I'm reading Star Sight. Um, this is gonna end up being a weekend vlog, so I'm, I'm probably not gonna finish anything. But um, that's not what matters. What matters is that I tried reading. <laughs> I just spit on myself. Anyway, my husband's coming, gonna have breakfast, bye! Oh hi, editing Monica here. I was editing that vlog that you just saw me say first thought, best thought to, and uh, I turned it into a week long vlog. And we're at 40 minutes and we're not even on Tuesday. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this up here and I'm gonna divide it into two parts so you'll get this one is part one. And then the next uh, video you'll see is part two of this weekend long vlog along with conclusions and stuff like that. So, this no, why, why did I do this to myself? I said I, I was trying to film shorter videos and it's like, bitch, this is a 40 minute long vlog and you're not even done. Awesome. I love that for me. So, I'm going to stop this now and the next video that will go up will be the continuation to this vlog and conclusions and all that crap. So, yeah, bye. See you later.